Yeah. Austin Butler. Yeah. Wow. He, his career? So he started wow. as... Uh, background on Neds. Background on Neds. Dude, yeah. my dad like he, worked, and then he became a featured extra. Yeah, featured, yeah. Like my, my dad was like the first one to kind of give him an audition to be like a featured extra. Your dad? On the project. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, him and his it, his mom. It was yeah. Well, re- oh, rest his soul. And my mom, we introduced him to our manager, and that was his first manager for a while. Oh, dope, dope. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And then, like, I mean, just incredible. Incredible, like, rise, energy, like, alignment. So, so cool. He was and so wild. All ready. I remember him is, I don't know if it was a tracksuit or, like, that blue shirt where he had, like, had the doves on him. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, vaguely. Or, something. You probably remember it a lot more because he was the dreamy guy Because he was guy so set. dreamy, yeah, even yeah. at right. 12 years old. N- no. <laughs> no, no. Not for, not for me. Okay. Really? Okay. Austin, I don't. No, she liked me, Daniel. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, oh she liked give, give me the, the funny, short, short funny stocky looking guy. guy. Wait, no, the, really wait no. funny looking. No. Hold on. I, I don't I'm like kidding. I'm just kidding. blondes. Blondes oh. for me are a little too like. He was like mini Brad Pitt. He was like now golden he and dyed had his hair. abs. Yeah, but like, and, yeah. I don't know. Glorious, glorious human. Now him as Elvis, though. Do you like like him as Elvis? I, I did to. not watch Elvis, but oh, you the interview you that I saw see it. of he his nailed was it. You stunning. gotta see it. He stunning. He is so he's such a he's so beautiful. He oh. puts in the work. It's so beautiful. He's so he's good. skilled. I oh, think Denzel so Washington good. got him the yeah. job. Like he worked in a play with like I'm like dude, dude he's so good. He Bob works Lerman, and like, and he's not good by accident. He works no, his he fucking ass off. I love it. I remember a couple years after Neds, I was at Coachella, and. I fucking look over, and it's Austin. With Vanessa Hudgens? And he was there with Vanessa, with who Vanessa I was friends Hudgens. with. But, yeah. like, I, I hadn't seen him in a while. And yeah. then to see him, like, at Coachella, like, vibing with people I know. Glorious, And yeah. having a beautiful time. Like, I, I remember just, like, seeing him across the crowd, and him and I both being like, what? And just, like, hugging each other. It was beautiful. Dude. It was beautiful. Wait, do you guys remember, wasn't he dating a girl who was, like, his carbon copy yes. blonde? And, yes. Yes. and like, oh! yes. And they would walk yes. into a party or something, and they would always just be like <laughs> yeah, holding each yeah. other. Yeah, so Austin like had this weird topper. golden glow. Yeah, they were like they were a like they were like Barbies. They were like cut out of Barbies. They were they were like made up. Like, uh, other and then world, they would just yeah. like grace us Austin with their was presence. golden and flowing feathers. <gasps> yeah, it's so hair was she. Her and name abs, yeah. And then he met um, Emma Lou. Emma Lou who Emma was Lou, also wow. just like. Yeah. Young, but then just golden oh, and golden. tan. Yeah. They, they were, they were, yeah, like. Do weird. we still have crushes on them? I'm attracted Probably. to both of them. Yes, yeah. still. I'm attracted to I'm both of them. I'm going to get there before you do. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll raise you to it. Meet you at the top. <laughs> That's great. I'll meet you at the bottom. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. Funny, How the Come mighty on now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Dang. And I'm sure he had a lot to say. I, 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 I wish I would have spoken with him more, but he was the kind of guy who could kind of just get by on the aesthetic. He's like, I'm here in the room. You're going to fill me in the room. And yeah, we that's would, his would vibe, yeah. too. Like, he's just, I think he's just a very soft spoken, speaks when he needs to. Like, when he's, he not, to, yeah, he's yeah. not a talkative yeah. dude yeah. that I remember back in whatever. Yeah. But he had just this real calm vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeez. It was unlike any of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were yeah. maniacs. <laughs> we were maniacs. With bad jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were funny looking, short maniacs, I guess. You no, know, right? I was yeah. into it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that. You got you got taste. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I literally was just like, give me attention from any direction. Attention. And you picked Devin over all Who wasn't going to give me attention. Well, yeah. yeah oh, no. I was going <laughs> to. I was, was going to, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. But you had all of these side pieces. Like, at fit, like, you were dating the entire soccer team of that show, Katya <laughs> and Francesca and, oh and Jessica God. Williams, who Jessica is Williams. absolutely. You dated Jessica Williams? No, no, no. no, no I was about no, to say, because I slid her DMs. With Did Katya. you? Jessica Williams, she, and she's huge now. She's, she's I love that Kitty Honey Project. HBO. She's amazing. She was the first girl to shoot me down. <gasps> Now Ooh. she was older than me, and I did not have a chance. Was but I, she? because She's of her proximity, age? is she? She She's is? like one year older than she us. She was just way bigger, I guess. But yeah, I was, I was smaller <laughs> Jessica than Williams. Her at obviously, the time. he still harbors some stuff still, about wait, it. Wait, wait, wait! Go you girl, slid in her girl. DMs like recently? Well, yeah, because she used to hang with your sister a lot, right? They were like yeah. really good friends. Well, no, no, no. Really, it wasn't Katia. recently. And Jessica, William, Jessica oh, and I were in Katia, acting class together. Katya was really Katia close to my sister. Wow. Right, and Francesca Catalano. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, we're, we're all, podcast listeners, we're also referencing, this was like a Nickelodeon show that was on for a little bit. They, they were like uh, soccer girls. 
and yeah. I just remember Frankie oh, uh, Mallory, Joe, describing it to me Joe. as a Sex in the City for teens. Oh, All right, go on. <laughs> um, but wait, tell me more about the sliding in Jessica Williams DMs. Well, I didn't know her as Jessica Williams. I didn't know who specifically she was, but uh, I really just gravitated to her and just thought, hey, this is this is a young lady that I could, you know, access. Connect. We're both on TV, and I'm like, this is my destiny. I got to get with one of these hot chicks from one of the other programs or whatever. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I, I just reached out, and I think it was, like, MySpace at the time. Oh. And it was just like a definitive no. I just remember that. She was just like, yeah, not at all. Like, no, this is not. We're not going to play that game. Wow, I so, love wait, it. Wait, did she know Self you? Self-respecting so woman. So never having met you. Well, no, no, no. I had met her through like, mm, was it not Malise? Was it, was it was Mallory Joe? I think was one of the. I think it was like three main characters on the. It was got to kick it up. Was like the show. Okay. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I I knew one of the other young ladies a little bit more, and I hung out with Francesca like way more than yeah. uh, than her. But I was like, yo, I'm gonna slide in her DMs, and it was just like. Because I, 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 I mustered up a lot of strength so to try strength. it. Send it, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I'm sure that Good she doesn't you. even remember this moment. Probably not. But it was, it was pivotal for you. It was growth Love for me. Love that. It was growth. Because it, it wasn't um, a legit heartbreak because it's like, oh, if you did, I'm out of here. But yeah. It was an ego break. Yeah. Deeply. <laughs> yes, I'm broken still. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Yeah, the, you, you hold on to those. <laughs> You hold on to those when you put it out there and they're just like, And nope. see, that's why I never do. A strong <laughs> no. Yeah. So you got hard pass by Any, any heartbreak Williams. for you guys? Yeah, I got a hard pass. It was I mean, a hard pass. But I, I admired her for it because I was like, yo, she, this is the way the world works. Yeah, no, she was a self-respecting woman. Because my fairy tale was not her fairy tale. Exactly. Right. Yeah, right, you right, were right, not right. in the same reality. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, we were friends with them for like a little while. And then her and I ended up in an acting class together for a little while. Mm. Um, and then she moved to New York. And then next thing I know, I'm driving down Sunset Boulevard. And she is on a billboard the size. I mean, it's on the entire Sun building. Yeah. And yeah. It, it wasn't a normal billboard. It was a eight-story building. <laughs> and it was Jessica. And I was like. Wow. Whoa, what? dude. I sent her a photo. I was like, yo, this is wild. Like, this is right by my house. You're the size of a building. Like, congrats. This is amazing. So cool. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, she got picked up by Jon Stewart, man. That's oh, how she, was that that's, the, Yeah, that, that was, was like a move. big start when she got picked up by The Daily Show. Mm, so cool, wow. man. To learn under to learn with Jon Stewart, like, that that's amazing, good. man. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool to see, like, w you know, uh, the kid acting pool is pretty small. Like, Hollywood in general is pretty small, a lot of overlap, but especially the kid version of it, I feel like we all knew each other, Disney, Nick, whatever. Mm -hmm. If you're a kid actor, you kind of overlapped, and it's wild for now 20 years watching where Everybody people go. Everybody sort of, yep. Who leaves it, who finds other passions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who burns out, who makes it through in different ways, like what, like what people school. end up it's on. It's like its own little kind of school, you know, and you kind of like, hey, wonder what happened to this guy. And yeah, it's always interesting seeing the story. Yeah, we should unfold. have a super weird and toxic uh, child actor, you know, reunion. Reunion, right? <laughs> Turn up. Sounds awful. It no, actually sounds awful. I mean, yeah. Sounds like so much ego and personality that sounds like in rehab. one room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just rehab. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, take it from me, guys. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, lockers. Yes, lockers. Oh, so Cookie. I remember my character had to go to the edge of the universe, and he was super. That I frightened. loved. I I thought that was so clever. Like that really got me as like yeah. being super clever. I loved the and graphic on that. Same. Oh, yeah, and yeah. that set up another line that I thought was so funny was Coach Durga, played by Kim Sava. I don't care if your locker is on the, the planet, ice planet, planet of Hoth. Yes. And they hit the, like, Hoth. delay. Echo. Yeah. Uh -huh. The delay, boy. Damn. You are made weak. me laugh. Yeah. Yes, and that. Yeah. You're weak. Ah, and then she just laughs. Yeah. She just belittles you, boy. And then yeah. goes, ah. Bruh. I love I loved that. You're you know, weak. I had to do push-ups there, like, for that scene or whatever. Wait, and I were remember you I nervous? practiced push-ups. Push yeah, no, no. You, he definitely you was nervous. It, you practiced it in the school. School room. Yeah. A lot. yeah, I was there just doing push ups. I'm like, I gotta do these push ups. Yeah. Right? They're gonna think yeah. I'm a weakling. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's yeah. like, okay, that's the whole character. You gotta be weak. Yeah, you gotta be cookie. You gotta Dang. actually don't do the push up well. Yeah. Do it poorly. That's yeah. correct. That was that. Yeah, that was pre football for you? Uh, this was well, like I mean, first I was season, playing, or you were already in it? I was playing. Yeah, no, I was playing Pop Warner football already. Yeah. So I, yeah. I still just wanted to beef up, you know, be ready. Yeah. Dang, because I always had this kind of feeling like, oh, people are going to always think I'm just a nerd, you know, and da, 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 da. And that was just like a – that was a, a thing that was in the back of my mind. So going into second season, like, I started really trying to, like, work out a whole bunch. I mean, we all kind of – Kind of did. We all wanted oh, to Oh, I fit. rounded out a little bit for a while. Oh, you rounded there. out? Oh, She's like, I'm yeah. just going to eat. Yep. I'm just, I don't <laughs> know what body and metabolism is yet. I'm just going to do this. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, yeah. I was, I was. You have crafty on set, so I was just oh, eating like hard. cheese quesadillas and cookies and soda all day. Bro, so all at a day. certain point, I had to go. Oh, maybe I should just. I don't have to do much. I just gotta stop doing intake. that. Stop all of that. Doing that so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. I wasn't overly aware of it 